Hi, I'm Michelle Bauer, and you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have the monthly Vinegar Syndrome unboxing for you, but I also have the Severin unboxing that was already unboxed that I had recorded but I never edited the video so I'm just throwing it in here I'm gonna redo it okay so yeah I'll show you the Severin first and then we'll get into the vinegar syndrome vinegar syndrome I don't know why I can't say that right today uh, I'm not feeling hundred percent yet yesterday I was really sick um, the day before I was starting to get sick which happened to be the first day of fall so you know Congratulations, everybody. We made it to fall 2023, and uh, with the change in the seasons, so does my allergies come out. So it was it was pretty bad, but then I also got sick on top of it. But anyway, I'm going to show you what I got here from Severn. I have it all here. Uh, I'm just going to show you quick, and then we'll go on to what really, probably what you really want to see. Now here, I got the... Uh, uh, Joe Spinell, like, small uh, collection, I don't know what you call it, um, bundle, and uh, so it was supposed to come with the doll, you know, but it, I didn't know this in the video either when I recorded it before, but uh, they're just behind on getting them in, but they did send like a $10 gift certificate for to use on the site, so that's cool of them to do, but the doll's not here, but you know when it does come in I'll probably just do a video for that because I'm looking forward to that uh, but here I got some pins that were along with the bundle and this is the Severn Films Hall of Fame number 27 Caroline Monroe there you go it's a pretty pretty big pin like pretty big <laughs> and uh, so I got that one and then here's a uh, number 28 Joe Spinell and I love it I love these pins I'm probably gonna I want to get a cork board and put them all on it but I also have a hat that I just kind of put them all on it I can't really wear the hat with the pins but like they're all on there but uh, if you want to see those pins um, I'll do a video you know so let me know and we'll get on that but here uh, that's the pins I got and now the first blu-ray that I'm gonna show you uh, it, it's not even a blu-ray Oh well, yes it is, they just like to use black cases. That's the uh, the Plaga Zombie Trilogy from Intervision. Great artwork on there. And then you got, am I saying it right? Plaga? Plaga? I don't know. But uh, I'll say Plaga. No, nope, I'll say Plaga. Plaga sounds like a plague. Plaga Zombie, and then Plaga Zombie Zona Mutante. And I, I, I guess that means like Mutant Zone. Uh, and then Plaga Zombie, Zona Mutante Revolution Toxica. So does that mean Toxic Revolution? I'm guessing. I don't know. But uh, yeah, pretty neat. Uh, it looked fun. I waited a little bit to, to, for the price to go down. So I got it. And uh, yeah, it looks fun. I haven't checked them out yet. I haven't checked any of these out yet. But uh, I will <laughs> eventually. And again... All these except for the Maniac 2, I waited for the price to go down. Like these, I wanted them right away, but I'm like, I'll wait. And there's Born to Fight, like these action ones. Born to Fight, I can't really, you know, show you that well. Like the glare is pretty bad. It's a beautiful day out for me because there's no sun. <laughs> but that means also my these lights in here suck. But then the other one we got here is Top Game. I have the viewfinder turned, so hopefully you can see it. Cop Game. Actually, I'm going to turn it back. And the other one here is Double Target. The great artwork on these things. Uh, but yeah, I haven't checked them out yet, but I've seen some of the other ones from Severn that are like that, so should be okay should be good you know uh, but then here's the other one that I got uh, this is um, 4k actually I think they had a thing where it's like the 4k was cheaper than the blu-ray or something on the website at the time so something was messed up but like 
it's not like I took advantage because I'm sure they changed it eventually. But anyway, here's a Action Mutante, and this looked crazy. It looked like insane. It looked like something right up my alley. Like I don't know. That doesn't really do it justice. This cover, I guess. But uh, yeah, it it. it it might not be for everybody, but it was like a weird enough movie that I'm like, yeah, I think I would like that. So I ended up getting it. But I haven't checked it out yet, obviously. And then the main edition, which I'm glad I didn't pass up on again. I didn't watch it, but I didn't even know there was a Maniac 2, or a.k.a. the last horror film. And it's Maniac 2, Love to Kill. You got this nice edition here. You got the back. And then there's like a booklet... And in the movie, the last horror film, and uh, it's a nice beefy edition. You know me; I like to say the beefy edition. Yeah, it's nice. It's a very nice edition. Um, I I like these kind of editions where it's like the booklet in the movie, and you know whatever kind of case this is. I really like those. I think they do a great job. I think a lot of people do a great job. This is embossed and stuff, so. There's that. But now we're going to get into this. This is what everybody's probably waiting for. You know, I'm I'm very pleased with, you know, what I got from, from Severin. Uh, it's, I don't order from them all the time. So when I do, it's like, you know, stuff I really want. So it's not just, I mean, they are blind buys, but they're not just like, oh, uh, I'm just going to buy it because it's Severin, you know? Like, I'm more of a pick, or cho pick and choose. Plus, they're kind of pricey, so... Definitely got to pick and choose, but anyway, yeah, let's get into the vinegar syndrome. All right, I'm back, and I had some, you know, behind-the-scenes difficulties that you didn't even know about, but, I don't know, for some reason, there was like this, almost like a fingerprint on the lens, and it wouldn't go away, and now it did. I don't know, it may look like all foggy. So, anyway, I'm back, and you didn't even know that, I didn't even have to tell you, but things happen behind the scenes anyway uh, the first one here is a movie called Arnold Stella Stevens and Roddy McDowell Arnold uh, no idea what these are about this is from Paramount nice spine just a blu-ray region A uh, I had no hopes for this like cuz I'm like it doesn't look like something I really care about and then Ro Roddy McDowell's in it so it boosts bumps it up so if he's in it I'm going to give it a chance I'm going to give it a chance and that's all there is to it uh but the next one and this looks kind of crazy is a ghost nursing and we got this one and eh, not really sure about the cover well but look at this what the what is that? What is that? It's a baby, I guess. But, like, crazy. Uh, you got the spine. The spine looks nice. I like that. A big font. Other side, same thing, but it's green. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's uh, region A, B, and C. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, see, unfortunately... Uh, I wasn't able to go live with Master Chaos during this, so we didn't, I don't think we did. Well, we sort of talked about it the other day, but we didn't get to go live with these. Uh, I think he was making a movie or something, but, uh, you know, but, uh, yeah, so I did see these, and I knew I was getting them, but, like, we didn't really talk about them too much. Um, so, I don't know, but this one is, uh, it has... Either Troma made it or it's distributed by Troma, but it's Curse of the Screaming Dead. Now this this uh, slipcover it, it's kind of like plain in a way, you know. I like the spine, and the back is like this, but I kind of dig it to be honest, because it's kind of it's not black and white, but it's like darker tones to it, and I kind of dig that. I'll be honest, I kind of like it. I kind of like it a lot. And then uh, you got the back here, it's region A, B, and C. And a little trauma symbol in the corner there. If you know trauma, you know what it looks like. So there's that one, Curse of Screaming Dead. I didn't know that was trauma, 
so looking forward to that one out too see it, it they're not all bad <laughs> uh, we, we see them right away when they announce what it is and it's like oh either you don't know what it is or you're like I can't get excited because again you don't know what it is or you know what it is and you're like oh mm. but I don't know I haven't seen any of these and uh, this one is evil judgment pretty neat I don't know if I like that color scheme I'll be honest like I don't know there's just something about it I, I don't like I think it's too much red I don't know who am I to judge evil anyway see because it's evil judgment and I you know region a B and C yeah should be interesting I've never seen it hey everything could be good right we just have to watch it first now we're getting into the partner labels that was like the main package that you know you de you get if you're a subscriber which I'm not going to be subscribing next year I'm gonna be very picky I'm gonna still probably get something every month maybe but it's uh, it's kind of up in the air I don't know but probably not every month now that I think about it because then why wouldn't I subscribe but I guess it really depends on what it is you know uh, there are times where I want to drop the money and then there's times like I could just wait till the sale and if it goes out of print then it goes out of print and I will cry but the first one here uh, is from Saturn's Core because you know I'm getting all the Saturn's Core again I had most of them and well I'm an idiot uh, but this is a SCA and V uh, Night Chills K-N-I-G-H-T Role Playing with a Vengeance and I love this cover it looks like an old like Atari game or something and there's the back uh, Night Chills deals with the urban myth that role-playing games are dangerous and deadly a very good horror story uh, and the creator of Dungeons and Dragons said that so there you go uh, oh no this kind of like lowered my expectations look at that cover sucks <laughs> that cover sucks uh, it is from oh I don't I can't read I don't have my glasses on um, I can't tell what year it's from but it's like a role-playing game like people and I guess things go wrong you know as they tend to do in these situations so night chills could be good I have pro it has promise it has promise I think it's going to be corny as hell, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and this is another one that I I think I've seen this in the past, but I'm not sure. It's another Saturn's Core. It's Sinister. Yeah, I I, uh, I don't really remember this if I did see it. I don't expect it to be amazing, but there it is. Um, by the way, this one is number seven. This one's number seven, and Night Chills is number twenty-seven. So they got a lot going with the Saturn's Core in that. I don't really see them leaving Vinegar Syndrome anytime soon. You know, a lot of people are jumping ship, but I don't know. But this one is a, a double feature here. This is from Umbrella. This is, I think, the not the second one. Who else? Somebody else did a double feature. I, I believe. I believe that was Culture Shock. But anyway, here this is Day of the Panther, and then Strike of the Panther. And I have no idea what these are. I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. it the cover looks awesome. It looks right up my alley. It, I don't think it's a post-apocalyptic, but there's cars and oh my god, <laughs> this cover is great too. Look at that cover. That's a good cover. <laughs> Uh, also included, Day of the Panther, also included is the trailer. Jason Blade is the main guy. Now, if you don't like a movie with a guy named Jason Blade, well, then I don't know. This is a Brian Trenchard Smith double feature. And I think the artwork looks pretty good, to be honest. I, it looks like it could be interesting. I mean, there's a guy with... A mask on and then like people with guns and cars and girls and woohoo could be fun could be fun could be a good time good time and it could also be two giant pieces of crap anyway 
<laughs> uh, this is um, from Deaf Crocodile, and this is Visitors from the Arcana Gal Galaxy. And I don't remember the trailer. I remember it being like really kind of weird and strange, and I was just like, yeah, that's right up my alley. I'm going to get that. Like, even that cover looks crazy. But, uh, yeah, I think I, I think I remember reading, like, watching it and being like, oh, yeah, that's definitely up my alley. Like, that's, like I said, it's really kind of weird. I don't think Master Chaos wanted it, though. Or, I don't know. I don't remember. I have thoughts in my head, and I don't know where they come from. Thoughts in my head, and... and uh, uh, anyway, this is uh, the last two here, and this is a Saturn's Core one. And this is called Deep Undead. See, I get them, like, when they're, like, as a sale, and they're, like, maybe 20 bucks or less, you know, something like that. So that's why I have so many of these Saturn's Core. But uh, Deep Undead, it's kind of a very disturbing cover there. And in the back, I don't know what that is. I guess you have to watch to find out. But, yeah, Deep Undead. Uh, well, the front cover is way better than this. <laughs> Uh, but it's a 104 minutes. Um, oh, it's from 2019. Okay. I don't think I can really... There's like a nip, nippy, nippy, nip in the back, so I won't show you. But, yeah, this is number 20. So you got that. Saturn's Core number 20. This cover is great. I hope the movie is fun because this... It looks like one of those, like, guy who's kind of a loser. You know what I mean? Like, I, sh I shouldn't say that. He... It looks like the kind of guy that like made the movie that it just so he can like make out with girls. I don't know that, but I'm just basing off the cover. Lost Faith, and this is uh, number 19. He lost his wife. He lost his patience. He lost his faith. <laughs> and uh, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Ooh, there's some big boobies on the back. You can't really see it. But, uh, yeah, this is 80 minutes long, region A, B, and C. Um, it's definitely an older movie. I can't, I, I, there's like so many things around there. I can't tell you what year it's from. I'm going to guess in the like 80s or 90s. But, yeah, lost faith. Wanted to get this the first time it came out, first day it came out. But I was like, oh, I'll wait, I'll wait. And I did, I waited. The so lost faith. So that's fun, you know. So, yeah, I got... Lost Faith, Deep Undead, yeah, Deep Undead, uh, Visitors from the Arcana Galaxy, Day of the Panther, and Strike of the Panther, that should be fun, to be honest, Night Chills, again, that, that cover is awesome, I could be totally wrong, and it could be a documentary, but I don't think it is, uh, Sinister, you got that, and then like, part of the package, monthly deal, evil judgment, <laughs> curse of the screaming dead, which I will probably watch because for sure because it's trauma, or you know ghost nursing. This could be a, a wild ride to be honest. This could be like an evil dead trap or something. You now, uh, and then we got Arnold here. <laughs> Roddy McDowell, I don't know, it, it has kind of promise to it, because there's like a zombie looking thing, and there's like a vampire, and I don't know, it, it could be good, I'm, I'm, I'm going to check it out, <laughs> and that's it, that's it, that's all I got, and of course the Severin stuff I already showed you, well I showed you these two, yeah, you know what I'm saying, anyway, that is it, um, no 4Ks I don't believe, I don't believe any of them are 4Ks, they're all Blu-rays this time, uh, from Vinegar Syndrome. So, yeah, um, we just had the uh, mystery reveals of uh, Vinegar Syndrome the other day. So, we'll have to wait until Black Friday to find out the other two mystery um, editions. I'm really hoping, for some reason, I don't think it's right. I really hope we get Freaked. I would love Freaked as a VSU. There's a whole bunch of them that I think that would make good VSUs. And uh, I'm thinking about making a video on them. You know, just whatever. But we'll see. Uh, I like to say that, but it's no guarantee. 
but yeah that's it everybody um, let me know which one of these you would watch first and uh, which one you think I should watch first and you know if you want to see a review on one maybe I can make it happen you know if you if you uh, entice me enough maybe I will uh, but yeah that's it everybody thanks for watching please give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box I'm mostly over on Instagram and mm, Twitter and more on there too now lately so yeah just follow me and uh, let you know give me a shout say hey I'm so and so I subscribe to you whatever you know well and I'll say hi <laughs> but that's it everybody thanks for watching talk to you later bye